Now let's move on to the section of the real international students of Kyoto University. Miss Montanes Mariana Isabella Orbel, a current Kyoto IAP student, enrolled in the first grade of the bachelor course of Faculty of Engineering, and Mr. Yan Chenda, the third year student in the doctoral course of Graduate School of Science, will talk about their experiences at our campus. Firstly, let's listen to Ms. Orbel's speech. Ms. Orbel, please. Good day to everyone. My name is Yana, and today I'm going to talk about the Kyoto IU program. First, some basics about me. I am a Filipino, and I graduated high school last year. I have held an interest in Japanese culture ever since I was a child, and that interest pushed me into trying to learn the language. I self-studied hiragana and katakana in 2017, but due to the difficulty of kanji, I had next to zero Japanese skills upon passing Kyoto IOP. So, as Hattori-san introduced, Kyoto IOP is a program that allows you to receive world-class education at almost no personal cost. Personally, ever since I've, I came here to Japan, I have not asked any money from my parents. Um, it's also a unique program that guarantees you professional-level Japanese proficiency upon graduation, uh, the details of which I'll talk about later. And finally, it is a unique program in the sense that it gives you and allows you to go pass through many unique challenges. So first, I'll talk about the six-month preparatory course that all IOP students are required to take. Um, here was, here's the schedule of my first six, year, six months here. Uh, as a science student, I was required to take the math, chemistry, and physics preparatory courses in English. There were also advanced physics and math classes tackling problems from the real Kyoto University admissions exam. Next, for Japanese classes, I took Japanese classes provided by Kyoto University in which my classmates were masters and graduate, graduate students from all around the world. In addition to that, there were also Japanese classes provided especially for Kyoto IOP students. This was very, uh, I found this very nice because it allowed me to apply the grammar and the kanji that I was learning into actual essays. The top picture is a Japanese essay with lots of grammatical mistakes. And the bottom picture is how I spent a lot of my time in the first six months writing kanji over and over again. And because of that kind of personalized training, by the spring break, I was able to read a Japanese essay collection cover to cover. During the spring break, we also did shodo calligraphy and watoji Japanese book binding. So upon uh, taking the interview from Kogyo Kagakuka, I became a real Kyoto University student in April this year. And um, since my Japanese level isn't that high, all my major relevant classes are in English for now. Um, here's a picture of my fundamental chemical experiments and linear algebra class. And of course, I still have Japanese classes, and every, I every week, we have to write an essay about a certain topic. And well, as you can see from the picture, I made a lot of mistakes, but that's how language learning works, doesn't it? And the right picture is Kamogawa River, which I took during the club Shinkan. Uh, Kyoto University has a very rich club culture, divided into bukatsu, more serious clubs, and sakudus, more casual clubs. I joined the light music, Keon Sakudu, and I was able to talk and share music with my, some of my Japanese peers there. Uh, when I'm feeling hungry, I go to Rune, Rune Cafeteria, because the food there is delicious. It's convenient because I can pay using my electronic money, which is in my student ID. And the food is very well balanced. It's, I feel very healthy when eating at Rune. And finally, the right picture is a typical scene you might see while walking from Hyakuman Ben Dorm to your classes. It's very pretty. <laughs> and well, for now, I am a first year student, so I haven't experienced the full range of things that Kyoto University has to offer. But I'm thinking of taking internships in labs with research relating to organometallic catalysts. And outside of academics, I also plan to learn more instruments. 
with the help of my club, uh, Kayon Sakuru Senpais, and uh, mainly due thanks to the uh, the writing I do in Japanese class, I recently discovered that I like writing essays. So for the high school students here that may be a bit lost on what they really want to do, uh, try going to Kyoto University and you might find what you really want to do here. And that's all. I hope to see you all here in Kyoto soon. Thank you very much.